When I grow up, I want to be a cowboy. I want to be a, a dentist. When I grow up, maybe I want to be a mechanic. I want to be a rock and roll drummer. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> yep. No, I like her. I do too, but that doesn't mean it. <laughs> I really don't want to depend on being a musician because it's just not a secure thing. I always want to play, but uh, I don't want to have to depend on it. I'm interested in, in learning how to produce. I want to spend a lot of time in the studio and learn that end of the business. Ever since I've started in, in any kind of band at all, nobody else took care of the business except for me. If I, if I don't do it, nobody else is going to do it. And I'm, I'm going to do all, all of my drums are going to be overdubs. <laughs> right. You know what I think you should have? I think you should have your cake and eat it, too. Uh, I don't think I should try. Why? I should beat my ass. <laughs> Good, though. I think of a word for Donnie. Camp. Mad turtle. The mad turtle. Show me mad turtle, Donnie. <laughs> I range anywhere from a decadent punk to a decrepit old man. I, I'm ready for anything. It wouldn't really shock me if my head all of a sudden said, well, I'm going to be a, a dock worker in Holland. I'd probably just up and do it. Everybody's got five darts, right? <laughs> God damn. Right, shoot backwards and hit that one. <laughs> Looks like a lot of <laughs> Okay, Donnie, take two of them. No, do two shots. What are you shooting at? I'm going to call the green one. It's your head, Brewer. Basketball Brewer. Hey! Where'd it go? In the barn. Oh, yeah, right. this spot. Oh. oh. Where did that hit, man? I got to see close, Brewer, I tell you. <laughs> It flopped over, it flopped off by the garage. Donnie is a the most ass-kicking drummer in rock and roll business. Come on. Thanks, Mark. Oh. Two shots. Five Two shots. shots. And I love him all the same. Mark's like an Indian. He digs outdoors. Mark's the guy I grew up with. Mark's the guy you stole from that band. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I got you in our group. Yeah, I remember that. Well, I got 110 acres on this side of the road and 80 acres on the other side of the road, which kind of ensures my privacy, which I have grown accustomed to. And I must say, I, I got to have that to survive nowadays. Come on, you look. Last week, a buddy of mine caught a... 26 inch pike out of here, right up here by the mill pond. But I ain't had much time for fishing this year. You ready to ride, Ron? Said it. I race horses, quarter horse mares produce paint horses and I've got a paint stud coat. You wanna scratch me? Scratch me. I'll scratch you. Scratch her back and they'll scratch you. Yeah, I ain't gonna scratch nobody. Come on, buddy. Come on over here. Bell's a guy that takes two shots if you don't catch him. He does it sly. No. <laughs> Dark, mysterious. Oh, no. Uh-oh. There's a oh, bass player. Check. He reverberates with his speakers. Feels it. Feels what he's playing. 
Yeah, it's like sex. You gotta feel it. <laughs> Mel, the black varmint. No, Mel is uh, <laughs> passive. What? Passive. <laughs> I'm kind of a loner. <laughs> That's why I live where I live. So I like to be out in the sticks, just away from everything, everybody. You hear the birds raise a garden. You're around people so much, and you just need your hideaway, a little bit of a private life, and nobody can find you. Find out what's happening. Find out what's happening. <laughs> Riding a bike, you know, feel like you do anything you want to do. You know, I do. I feel like I can do anything I want to do. On it. <laughs> but I restrain myself from doing it now, so I don't get screwed up. You got it done. Yeah. I don't think this is it, eh? Yeah. That's it. Wow. Where'd you get these tail lights? They're off a of what? Ford. Twenty-three Ford. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Oh, it's a chair. Yeah, that's what we do with our time off. It's been the devil in you brought this out. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Did you make this? Yeah, made bought everything on there. Except the lights. Damn. I'd be afraid to get on it. <laughs> Go ahead, get on it. <laughs> Go ahead. Can't hurt nothing. Do I look bad? <laughs> Hi, this is my dungeon. <laughs> You wouldn't believe it after seeing the Mark Finer farm and uh, Donnie Noel World Mansion and uh, <laughs> Melvin's thing out in the wilderness someplace. This basement is just a joke. Wake up in the morning and have some spiders on you. I even found a centipede once. My God, <laughs> I'll scare you to death. Got everything I need here, though. Music, something to play, a television, and a bed. These... I don't know. The blue ones fit great. I mean, they look all right and they're comfortable. I could do anything in them. These white ones, I'm a little... I don't know. If I start sitting around and going, moving around, I might rip them right apart. But... That's all on sale. <laughs> Craig is a depressive humorist. Somebody tell me. Mark, who am I? You crazy man! <laughs> I was always poor when we were young. Always poor. The only thing I got decent, I think, is my car. <laughs> you know? Craig, it's not the car. I want to use it. No, I'm sorry. Talking. But anyway, back to the car. I do think I deserve to, to use it. You can trust uh, me. You've got insurance. You can trust me with it. I wouldn't be a speed freak with it. I wouldn't. It's got it. It's the only thing I've got. I don't know. You can't have a pony yet. Oh, thanks. Oh, uh, cut. <laughs> seat belt in the door. Cut. <laughs> Got it? 